SQL going to help us to store the data and to collect the data from your data warehouse. And how we are storing the data inside data warehouses, we are trying to store structured data. And that structured data going to be relational. So we call it as RDBMS. And there are types of relation like one to one, one to many, you can see this four types. And there are different data warehouse providers. So one, you're able to access your data warehouse with the help of your traditional providers, which you can install in your system, like MySQL, Microsoft SQL, so on and so forth. Or you are able to use cloud-based data warehouses like your Snowflake. You don't need to install anything on your system. You can have a cloud-based uh, purpose. You can just create a login and you can do that like BigQuery, Synapse Analytics and Redshift. And if you are dealing with big data related information, then you can use Hadoop Hive or you can use Spark SQL. And all these data warehouses are divided across two primary uses. One is OLTP operations.